Welcome back. We're still on Stone Ship. Enjoying the uh, very slow sunset. Or sunrise, I don't really know. Um, doesn't seem to be moving. Nor does the weather really seem to be getting worse. Should at least be able to see lightning in the distance or something. That would be nice. Or if you do still need to go back, which I doubt, honestly, it should be different the second time or something. I don't know. Um... Go up there. Come on. I mean, it looks very pretty with this light. I'll give him that much. But it would be nice, it would still have been fun if, you know, we actually got rain. Like real mist stone chip. I mean, it's also good that things aren't different, but dynamic weather would have been really awesome. So far, nothing has really been random here. In terms of the clues. This could be, though. And this looks like a type of periscope arrangement, so... This is so obviously an image, though. It's not actually looking through this in 3D. Come on. Help. It's being very... It's being very annoying. Stay there. Or the love of... I cannot get this to work. There, good enough. Um, assuming we still need to look at the lighthouse, that is like what? 259 degrees? That is different, I think. Like 180... Something... Huh? Oh no, it's facing that way. Okay. I was like, that is not where the lighthouse is, and you're looking at a rock. But no, that looks, that's correct. Let's take a picture of that. With my magical uh, camera eyes. Couldn't you have just rendered a viewpoint through there? Portal couldn't do it, why can't you? Although I don't actually know if the... That is probably just an image. If you were to have Portal in VR, would it actually be able to show a 3D view through the portals? Okay, I'm having issues hitting up properly. That uh, sounds like it would be kind of complicated from a technological point of view. Sure, Valve would figure it out because they're Valve, and they have a slightly bigger uh, cash flow than. Okay, maybe my left hand will be easier here. Then, uh, Cyan. Thanks to Steam, obviously. They are headquartered here in Bellevue, very close to where I live. Valve is. Never gone there though. If you can hear my phone vibrating, that's a ring doorbell notification. Um, okay, I guess we need to turn some lights on, which means we need to go into the lighthouse. Which means we need to pump the water there, gone. It's very finicky to teleport on, on here. Um, I can actually, by just pushing this thumbstick, switch to free roam mode, um, which lets me free roam with le my left hand, and does still let me turn like that with my right hand, but um, not teleport anymore. So that is slightly easier to get past here. 
but uh, yeah, I'm literally already getting sick. So let's not. Um, I'm very sensitive to that. I don't play VR enough, I guess. You do get more used to it. Alright. Come on. They really need to fix the sensitive nature of having to push up. Also be nice if I could teleport further down this spiral staircase. Um, and it looks like this is going to be guided by a rope to end up in that thing up there, which I guess is more realistic than it magically being in the right place. What? This would be so much easier to do with free roam, but yeah, I just can't. Come on, I guess I need to be closer to the wall. Well, it doesn't really want me to teleport to the edge of the stairs. And the whole thing is kind of connected to a buoy of some kind. Instead of just being a chest. Which I suppose also makes this a little bit more obvious in that you're supposed to drain the whole the water and then close it to make it buoyant. The fact that that turns the opposite direction of the faucet is like confusing me. Um, just looks like it's strapped to a bomb. That's the only downside of this uh, arrangement. All right, let's go pump the water back in. Oh, this is much easier growing up. Maybe because it's along my right side and I'm mostly teleporting with my left hand. We need the... Um, the middle one next to go back down the tunnels. It just wants to be finicky. This is not making me um, excited about going to Channel Woods because that's all like narrow walkways. <laughs> all right, we've got a uh, chest. We got a key. There we go. Which reveals another key, which is also on a rope. Again, explaining why you can't just leave with it. There we go. I mean, it's kind of a weird solution, the disappearing ladder, but uh, it also very much feels like something Atrus would do, so... Actually, outside the lighthouse. I don't remember that being a thing. Atrus's filled experiment, the ship that was not meant to be embedded in the rock, showing the dangers of trying to write man made objects into an age. Also, kind of contradicting how modifying an age even works, because this feels like something that should link you to a different age rather than uh, change an existing one. But you know, a lot of that lore just wasn't really fleshed out yet, which is another reason why it would be so awesome to see a completely rethought version of Mist. This isn't on the floor because it would be high, e harder to operate, I guess. Um, that's what the, what the hell. I guess it didn't like where my head was. 
and you don't have to rotate it as long and nor does it make as annoying of a noise so that's nice we are fully charged I guess this is yeah it's just a magnet a huge magnet here I guess is what's gonna is being used to generate the actual power and then the batteries are on the side there. I guess those are, I guess those are the batteries. Uh, unless it's on the back, it's gonna. Can't really get a good view of that. No, it's definitely on the side. The batteries. And that's all connected to that. Nice, nice. Come on. Let me teleport. I guess I can do that to get out of a tough spot. Um, all right, we can already see from here that the lights are on at the top there. Above the doors. Where's the ladder? There it is. Oh, it has two openings. That's that's why that happened. I'm like, that didn't make sense. I'm getting kind of teleported into the ladder as I do this. Um, or funneled into it. It's probably more accurate to say. Come on. Alright, we've got light. So we should be able to find our way into the secret passage. Um, why did the light just turn off? That is not okay. Especially because this is annoying to do. If I'm going to have to do this more than once, I'm probably going to turn on ladder zip mode option in the menu. Why does that happen? Does this like deplete quickly? Am I on a, on a timer here? I'm not seeing any movement. No, I there is. Okay, well that's that's really gonna suck, especially with the teleport controls. Because this I can't do this faster. You know what? Uh, what I'm gonna do? Let's figure out how those how the ladder thing works, and then um, all right. So I'm gonna be in the menu for a sec. Settings. Quick travel on ladders. Let's see. Because otherwise, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in time. It feels like they give you way too little time. All right, let's recharge this thing. So now it should do that. Yep. That makes that a lot easier. Be okay for time now, I hope. Also, didn't spend time. Oh, it's just open. 
It just opens when the power's on. Well, that's very different. Um, I don't remember how to check if the orientation of this is correct. <laughs> I'd have to draw it out again, I guess. This is very pretty. The water. Again, curious to see if ray tracing makes this look nicer at all. Okay, now this is going to be interesting, and I better not touch anything by accident. Um, where's north? I guess that's north. Um, so what did I have? Oh, come on, menu. Two hundred and sixty degrees, roughly. So that's west, so that's two seventy. Oh, I'm guessing this would be the closest to two sixty. Oh, here goes nothing. Nope. Oh, wait, was I looking wrong? I was looking wrong. It was not this one, it was this one. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Let me get to see what this is like in the dark. Hello? I cannot get this up. Am I missing something? Let's try this side. something I was doing but yeah that uh, other side just wasn't wanting to open maybe it only opens the side that you came through I don't know probably just control issues I don't have to climb the ladder this way. So that's nice. Um, why does everything go dark when that happens? That feels wrong. Get an extra few spins for good luck. I better be right this time or everything is going to get cut out. Come on. Do I have to do everything before the battery runs out? That feels like it would be um, kind of unfair. Like, do I have to get to the mist book? Let's um, try to not be an idiot this time. So this yellow one is west, so 270. So this is 260. That looked better. That looked like it did something. I cannot tell if the connection of the passages has been fixed here. I'd have to really hold the remember, go back into 
mist and see which way around it was there. And real mist to see how it was there. And then compare. Um, that's a thing. Um, I hope that now that I've done that, the power will stay on. And no longer on a time limit. But just in case, we'll try to do this a little more rapidly. Light. Very cool looking. And, um, you know, I want to look around here, but I'm like afraid that the light's going to turn on. So let's get that book and head back. All right. It doesn't say miss on the front of this one, it just shows the library. That's exactly as it was in the original. And we're back. Um, possibly with two pages. <laughs> um, interesting. I guess that just got appeared out of my pocket. Sure as being his usual charming self. Yeah, you do get both pages. That is, uh, I don't know what was happening with the graphics just now. That is, I mean, it's pretty nice, honestly. Don't have to go back, especially considering how much of a pain it was. Pages look like they have dunny writing on them. Although, of course, the actual writing for books is different than normal Dunny writing. The Goro FT, I think it was called. Somebody translated the Dunny writing in the trailer for this version of Mist. And it was basically just like an inside joke. So I wonder if this could be similar. It's kind of hard to read it, though.
Blue page junkie, as always. Um, and it's nice that you don't have to go back. The original did kind of force you to make a choice between the brothers if you didn't want to go back, which was kind of nice. In a sense, you like you didn't have to. Um, like here's so easy to just get both of the brothers' perspective, whereas the original kind of almost made you pick one in the, the first time. I mean, that's not how I did it. I still went back and get both, got both pages. But it kind of wants to steer you that way, which is kind of nice, I guess. Um, all right. What age shall we do next? Um, I always like doing channel last, and since I want to do Selenitic after Mechanical, I think that means Mechanical is next. Uh, Great. Can I get this? I can. Um, I don't think there's anything actually important in the journal for Solanitic or in some description of the uh, devices that you have to use so the left button left lever is power the right one is track slope and then there's the track that the fortress is on and the black ships and that is it like i want to put the Push, uh, put the books back nicely, which you can't. All right, let's turn this to face there. And check out the um, tower. I left the door open last time, I guess. So, since the tower's been rotated, but the elevator's not, yeah, I feel like that's further to the left than it was. So, that actually feels like it's correct. Uh, well, I guess I got the cheat ladder thing here, too, now. Um... I might turn that off again. It does feel kind of cheating if I'm not on a time limit. All right, there's the gears. That's where the books are gonna be. It is kind of nice, honestly, on ladders I've climbed before. All right, and this is gonna be random. 335 at 232. Nope, nope. i take a picture, not look at one. Oh, wrong button. It'd be on the wrong controller. There we go. I'm like used to going back to the other side to get in the ladder, but it's not for to get in the elevator, I mean. Which is not how it's works here go
it does make the game take longer doing it this way that's for sure um all right we got our clues we know where to use them You know the atmosphere in a stone ship with the sun low and the storm in the distance kind of reminds me of Amateria in Mist 3. All right. Um, 335, 232. 335 is the part of the clue that we need right now. So, three and thirty-five. That's the thing that happened. Um, kind of weird that that would produce so much foaming. And the last marker switch to turn on, which we need to do to be able to get to the vault. Oh, we can actually go on the back here. Not that there's anything to see, other than mist, which, you know, makes sense considering where we are. Um, all right. I guess we gotta push the button. This looks very similar to how it was before. We needed two, three, two. All right, that moves those two. Is it still the way that it does? Yeah. All right, yeah, that makes things easier. If you don't know that, this is such a hard puzzle. <laughs> Um, I don't know if we're going to have enough moves left to do this, but... Oh, yeah, definitely not. We have to reset that over here. Um, so I need to do this first. Then get this on two and keep it going until three. There we go, and that just opens, showing us what happened. And we have music. That's really the pulling it is what makes this puzzle possible. If you don't know how to do that, then you're kind of out of luck. And the game doesn't really tell you. All right, head back over. They really need to fix the touchiness of pushing up. You have to be so perfectly up to not turn. Which is annoying. Alright. It's open. There's a book. I guess I'll link over before ending the video. Weather looks very nice. Camera movements are smoother. The original flybys were all very janky. Of course, if you wanted to make it more lore accurate, you have you would have to change these so to just show where you're linking, rather than the flybys. Interesting. Since I'm still facing the wrong way, I guess they wanted you to link in facing this way. 
where there is no book back because again you have to solve um, some puzzles to get back weather here is a uh, much nicer looking except over there where who knows what's happening over there Just like fog blowing in. In the flyby, I almost thought it was like maybe waves crashing, but that is not what it is. This is very high. I do not want to jump down. I like what they did with the rocks here. Uh, again, we've got weather on the horizon that will never get here, especially because it's moving the wrong way. The clouds are a bit skyboxy looking. It's not very dimensional. But what can you do? Uh, of course, this is our way out. I'm assuming this has been randomized, so even if I did remember the combination, which I don't, we still can't go out. I can go over here for no reason whatsoever. So, this is another one where the description is just not, like the flowers in the gears, uh, the description just really doesn't work all that well, because it describes a valley where a city was in between three hills, but it would have been quite a tiny city. Even now being able to actually see the scale of uh, this fortress, which is quite big. I have to tell you, it still doesn't quite look big enough that for there to have been a city in between here when the water was lower. Which I think is what they'd say. This will be interesting. Um, but I think it will be interesting in the next video.